So having spoken about the fear of death and the fear of dying, the third video in the subtopic of your personal relationship with death is looking at the whole thing from the opposite perspective. What if you want to die? Because there are plenty of people around who feel that life is no longer worth living for whatever reason. People are contemplating suicide and a lot of people feel that suicide might be a solution to their problems. It might be an escape from the problems that they are facing, from the deep depression that they're in, the pain they are feeling or whatever else. And the funny thing is that if you think about that, if you think about what death actually is in that context, you'll start realizing that suicide in actual fact cannot be an escape. And it is funny in a way that looking at death from a completely naturalistic perspective, you actually end up arriving at a conclusion that is not entirely dissimilar from the way, for example, a Christian would look at it. If you know a bit, little bit of the Christian way of looking at life and death, suicide, in the eyes of a Christian, for example, they often say that if you commit suicide, you basically cannot be saved. And suicide has always had a great taboo hanging over it. Now, I would obviously never suggest anything like that. But on the other hand, you do need to realize that whatever suicide is, an escape from your troubles, it most certainly is not. And let me explain why that is, if you think about death in a naturalistic context. As I pointed out, as long as you're alive, you will not experience death. And once you have died, you do no longer exist, so therefore you cannot experience death either. Once you have died, you will never know what it's like to be dead. In other words, if you think that if you commit suicide, you will have escaped your problems, then you will be sorely, sorely mistaken. Now, obviously, your life, you and your troubles will have ended, that's all well and good. But think about it again as if life is this bounded area in space-time, a box as I called it in my previous video, and you are forever, for as long as you will experience, you will be on the inside of this box. So what suicide then in actual fact is, is not an escape from the box. You will never, no matter how hard you try, out of the box, all that suicide will achieve is that it makes the box smaller. You will still be forever inside the box, but the box will be smaller. It will extend a lesser amount of time in space-time. So of course, does that mean that I am vehemently opposed to suicide? Now I obviously, you know, I'm happy to be alive and I would never consider such a thing myself, at the moment anyway, and I can't really imagine a circumstance in which I would really envisage suicide. But then again, there are circumstances in which you might feel, even if you are fully aware of the implications that suicide cannot be an escape, you might consider yourself to be content that you are going to reduce the size of the box because the only areas left to visit inside this bounded area that would be your life are areas in which you are going to experience only more pain, suffering, depression, whatever else it is that makes you feel that your life has become intolerable. Under that circumstance, I can imagine that you might wish to consider the option of suicide just from the perspective 
that it makes the amount of suffering that you have to endure smaller. That's fair enough. But don't do it because you think you will be escaping anything. Because you won't. <laughs>